Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Um, it's a lovely rainy February day, uh, windy, rainy, stormy. Uh, so I thought what I'd do is get the cattle cow and have a look around it all. It's a new product that we've only just purchased recently. We've not tried it out yet, uh, we've not even put it together. So I'm gonna have a go at putting it together, have a look at what we've got and get excited about if the weather ever gets nice enough to be able to use it. So let's have a look and see what we've got and we'll see if we can get it all put together. Okay, so first off we've got the, uh, the burner and obviously this accepts the three legs that this um, Kadak has. This is the Kadak Carry Chef 2. So we've got a couple of accessories with this, uh, but let's get it put together and see how we go on. Okay, so we've got three legs. Um, I think these are all marked up from some of the previous videos that I've seen, because uh, they do go in a specific coal on the burner. So let's see if we can uh, find out where to go and get it all put together. And now what we're going to do is see somewhere in the midst of all this stuff we have the, uh, the middle tray. Quite a handy little piece of kit I understand. As I say I've not used it so I'm not speaking from experience. But I can see how this will be quite handy to um, put some condiments on, that sort of thing. So let's just pop that onto place. Just simply clicks down into place and it certainly made it a little bit more sturdy too. Next piece, so what we now need is the base, which just simply fits straight over there and sits on place. Underneath here, there's one, two, three, four, five little rubber feet and you can feel that as you put this on, it's sitting on those feet and it's not wanting to actually move anywhere so it's quite a good firm, uh, firm base on that as well. Now in here I've got the pot stand and this is just basically simply if you want to put a pan on here and cook on the burner as you would a normal stove then the pot stand is ideal for that. On here if you can see you've got one, two, three little lugs and this would basically just position it up and sit it on there and then it can't move. If you're moving your pan around, you're not gonna find that this is sliding all over the place. Right, here we go. So now what we've got is we've got a selection of different plates that we can put on here, depending on what we're wanting to do and what you're wanting to cook, uh, what you're wanting to prepare. So when I bought this kit, I bought it as a set uh, and it came with the Carry Chef 2, uh, the lid, and it came with a, um, a barbecue plate. Now, I think most of them do come with a barbecue plate and then you get an extra. So you can have like a barbecue plate and a chef pan, barbecue plate and a paella pan, barbecue plate and a skittle, um, and so on and so on and so on. I got the um, basic kit which came with a chef pan. So if I can somehow find where the chef pan is and you'll understand why I'm struggling to find things in a second. Here we go. So here we have the chef pan, comes in a nice little bag, which is great because it keeps it nice and clean and keeps it safe and secure from getting banged about. So here we go, and there's the chef pan. And that would just sit quite nicely on there. And we'll use this for whatever we're gonna use it for now. I dare say we can put breakfast in here, we can put, steaks in here, we can do stir fries in here. I know it's only a quite a small thing but it's got such a big surface area that I think we're going to be able to get all sorts of stuff cooking in here which will be absolutely fantastic. So number one, chef pan. Uh, I think this is about four, maybe 450, 470, 400, maybe 450 or something. It's a big pan. 
it's a big pan and it sits quite nicely on there. Now from what I understand this is obviously going to be the hottest area on here but if you look underneath it's obviously quite ridged on here which is going to help spread the heat so that the outer outer edges are probably the cooler part, this bit will be the hottest part and obviously you've got the regulator on here as well so that you can turn this down but obviously bear in mind while we're going to be cooking we can move things around if it looks like they're getting cooked too much or not enough get them all move around within that pan. So number one, chef pan. Second, we have the grill to bray pan. Now this was an addition that I bought. Um, I'm not sure why I bought it, but it was simply because I saw someone, and I think this was uh, Mateway with Morley, Andy Morley, who demonstrated that this is absolutely fantastic for cooking breakfast on. So that would just sit nicely on there, I don't think, in fact, I think that needs to come off for this one because looking at this here, we've got three lugs on here that look like they would sit nicely onto that pan and that sits down bang on in there. So once again, learning curve, take the pot stand off, put the green one on. The obviously the pot one, I think, does need to be on for the um, for the grill pan, uh, for the chef pan. So fantastic. What we've got here is a ridged area for getting all the sausages on, getting the bacon on, and a nice flat area here for cooking some mushrooms on, cooking some uh, black pudding on, some fried eggs, that sort of thing. Throw some tomatoes on there, they go grill nicely. So yeah, not, uh, not too bad. Quite impressed with that one. And that one is the bread plate, if that's saying it right. Now this one on the back of this, if you have a look at it, almost looks like it's got a diffuser on it. Uh, as well it's going to capture the heat and distribute it on the top plate here so it's again quite good and um, definitely very very well made uh, great quality i'm very quickly going to run out of space soon for uh, putting all these things on but uh, let's see what we can do and where we can get to next so here we have the barbecue grid once again nice little bag this is similar to the Bray play once again no need for the pot stand in here and if you can see through this one you can see that we've obviously got this one is vented so that yeah, I dare say if there's any grease on there that you're cooking it's going to go down pass down and fall into the bottom one big tip that I have heard a lot of people other people saying is put a bit of water in the bottom of here before you start cooking then as the fat juices drip down they'll drip down into the water they're not going to get baked onto this bottom part and it'll make it a lot easier when it comes to cleaning so once again, no pot stand on this one, simply one, two, three little notches, notches and get those all in line and that's straight on there. So once again, nice and fair, massive cooking area, so we're about to get all sorts of steaks and pork chops and sausages and anything that you want on here. Great big, great big cooking area and the, uh, the barbecue plate. So once again, fantastic bit of kit, really well made. Diffuser as like with the bread plate, so diffuser on the bottom, which is gonna distribute the heat quite well. Uh, once again, really impressed with that one. So I'll just move these to one side. Sorry that I keep going out of shot, but I've just got no room to, uh, to move anything or put anything. So next one that we're gonna have a look at is this one which is the paella pan now the paella pan uh, 47 i believe that's 470 millimeters 47 centimeters so it's going to be a great big pan so let's get this one opened up and have a look inside here i think in here before i actually open it i will mention that we've got another thing in here that i'll just come to later so i'll just move that one out of the way and get this massive massive paella pan out look at the size of that i mean i could cook for a campsite with that if anybody's on a campsite when they see me coming and getting this cat out and they can see that i'm cooking something don't feel shy about coming saying can i come in and, and have something and share a meal because i can cook for i could cook for a thousand people with this it's absolutely massive it's i'd say it's probably five centimeters deep it's obviously 470 millimeters 47 centimeters across it's got two big handles on it and obviously that one is going to fit on here going back to 
the band proper in a tangle, going back to the pot stand, that will go on there and then the higher level one straight on there, throw everything in and you're going to be able to make a, a massive, massive pile. Uh, I mean there's me, Kevin and Thomas, so I'm going to probably be using that little bit in the middle, but uh, I'm sure that we have to go away with my daughter and some friends, she'll go be around and certainly I'll be able to cater for anybody with that pan. Just thinking if it's, uh, when it's Christmas and I'm going away with Christmas, I could just sit in this down the hill. I bet that I'd, I bet that I'd shoot off. Anybody see Chevy Chase in um, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? He gets one of these, puts a bit of go fast solution on the bottom of it and he's off. This is, this is one of them. I'll be straight down the hill. Looking forward to using that one. So just once again, put that to one side. Next. So, just mention that when I was in there, we got another piece of kit, and I'm just trying to find a way in. So here we have a pizza stone. Once again, absolutely massive. I'm not sure why everything is so massive. I should have probably prepared some of this stuff earlier, but I'm fairly certain that this stand here is for the pizza stone so that you can lift it open. Once again, I believe that that would need the pot stand on it. Um, throw your pizzas on there and that's going to be able to make a 50 piece pizza. I wonder what the size that must be. Once again, this must be about 400, 4, 420, something like that. It's a big, it's a big pizza plate, a uh, big pizza stone. So this will be fantastic in summer, outside the caravan, get the table out, get all the ingredients out ready. We can have everything set up for all the family and they can just come, throw a base on, put their own pizza on, get it on here, get it cooking. Absolutely fantastic. And once again, really, really looking forward to using that. So just put that one to one side for the moment. And hopefully, is that the end of it? Oh no, no, still going. So, what have we got in this one? I think this one is the roasting tin. So, I'm going to take that one off and say that that's what I need to do because this one seems to have its own plate which does fit perfectly on there. So, take that off, roasting tin on here and that fits nicely into a little groove on that plate and in here what we have is a uh, like a, a rack that I dare say we can put on here so that if we're putting a chicken on here if we're putting a, a joint on here we can stand it on there and all the juices it's not actually meaning that the meat's going to be sat in the juices it may have been maybe an idea if these just had some little feet on them just to lift it slightly off because looking at it while it's inside the pan, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty much right on the bottom. So it's a good idea, but maybe it would have just been a slightly better idea if this just had some little feet on it that just lifted it up, just marginally off the bottom. Uh, but obviously you've got to take into account we don't want it too high up because the lid's got to go on when we're going to be roasting. But, uh, but yeah, that looks, uh, that looks great. And obviously I'd be able to fit a turkey in that, never mind a chicken. I'm not sure why everything's so big. It's um, big, big. But roasting tin. So that's everything, I hope. That's everything, and I'm making a mess. That's everything that we have. So what we have is, ah, one more piece, one more, one more before we go. And that's if I can find it. It is on the top. Making it a little mini oven. On the side here, if you can see, we've got a temperature gauge uh, just below where the handle is. When you buy the kit, the handle's separate, the temperature gauge is separate, but that basically just fits on quite simply on there. And the handle just slots down, screws on one with one fixing, and it's all done. Uh, but yeah, that looks absolutely great. And looking really forward to doing some cooking with it. Now, I'm going to be doing most of the cooking, you'll see that in the future videos that we're doing, and I'm going to have to explain why I'm going to be doing most of the cooking. Uh, there's a reason why I'm not going to let Cameron do the cooking. Um, 
One of the reasons is she doesn't really want to be doing too much cooking and if she can get away with it, why not? Second one is that she's not very good at it and I'm sure she won't mind me saying that. Um, we did have one incident recently on a weekend away when we were at a, a local campsite where we are, not too far away. When we went out for two nights and one night Karen decided she was going to make a pizza. Um, didn't go too well. I'm gonna, I'm, I've, I've thought about whether to show you this picture or not, but I'm going to show it you so that everybody can have a full understanding of why I'm saying Karen will probably not be doing too much of the cooking. Now, if you're just about to eat or you've not sat down for your meal today, turn away. Uh, I do apologise. There was no, there's no, there's no words that I can think of that can explain. It's this, what I'm going to show you is, is a pizza. Now there was an incident with the pizza and the incident was that it did look like a pizza originally maybe uh, when Karen tried to put it in the oven inside the caravan before we had the caddy because we've not used this yet. Now when she tried to put it in there on quite a big plate she realised that the plate was a little bit too big for the oven and we couldn't fit the oven door or couldn't shut the oven door. So her idea was to almost like elevate the back of it so that it was in at an angle so that she could just get the door shut, which was fine for about the first five minutes. And then it's like, what's that smell? Because the caravan's on fire. And well, the cooker was on fire and the pizza was on fire because the burner was just going straight up the back of it and overheating the plate and there was smoke everywhere. So we had to get the pizza out. So she got the pizza out, tried to put it into a smaller tray and this is what happened. So please avert your eyes if you don't want to be marred by this sight forever. It really is beyond words, but this is Karen's attempt at a pizza. We've just got to move on, move on. I'm sorry about that, but hey ho, we've got our Kadak. It's everything's made up. We're looking forward to the weather getting nicer. You may be able to see that the sun's out now. I'm sat in my, well, I'm still in the conservatory at home, uh, presenting this little video and looking forward to using the Kadak. All we need to do now is get a little bit of nice weather and all will be good. So thanks for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you've not already done so, please subscribe. It does help our channel. Uh, and let us fetch uh, some more videos like this to you and looking forward to using this Kadak um, through the uh, summer months so if anybody's got any ideas of things that we can cook on it using either the paella pan, the um, chef pan, barbecue plate, that bray plate, we've got the pizza stone and we've got the roasting tin. Um, I think I've got the full set and the reason I've got the full set I probably don't need the full set but I bought this back in November now when I went into the shop to buy the kit they'd only got a, a few left and it was like well we're coming to the end of the season if you wait until after Christmas into the new season prices will have gone up and in all honesty I've had a look and prices have gone up now we're now in end of February coming towards the end of February and prices are a little bit more expensive than when I bought it but the sales assistant saw me coming from a mile off because I just wanted this with a barbecue and maybe a chef pan I ended up buying an extra pile of pan uh, the bread plate, the pizza, stone, the um, roasting tin somewhere somewhere in the midst of all this I've got a spray, a Kadak spray that apparently cleans it um, I've got all the attachments here somewhere I've got another little attachment that I've got which is apparently a quick release attachment I think that one goes on here, the quick release is to plug into the caravan uh, which is which is fantastic and I'm sure it'll make life a lot easier but 100% she saw me coming and um, thought well we're not going to sell any more of these things. I bet when I went out of the shop and a manager came back in and thought well you know I mean where's all the Kallax stuff gone and it's like that crazy man over there has just bought all everything. So. Uh, but we've got a lot of stuff. I'll certainly not be able to take it because the caravan won't move if I put all this stuff in it. So I can't. I can't certainly take everything. We're just going to have to think when we're going away for a weekend what we're going to use, and just take that. But hey ho, lots of fun. And once again, thanks for watching. 
thumbs up, please subscribe and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys.